Folks, my next guest tonight is a former CNN chief White House correspondent and author of the novel Savage News. Please welcome Jessica Yellen. It's, it's nice to meet you face to face for the first time. I've, you know, I've known your work for years and years and years. I'm a news junkie, and of course, I followed all your reports for CNN. And who does, else did you work for before ABC that? News, ABC News, MSNBC. I did local news in Florida for years. Didn't catch that. Did not catch that. <laughs> Lucky. Catch Some that. of it was ugly. Yeah. Well, you, you, have a, you have a new novel here <laughs> called Savage News yeah. that we'll get to in a little more detail in just a moment. But this is based upon your experience as a reporter for 20 years in the, in the front lines of cable news infotainment, yeah. you know? Yeah. I love cable news. I, I watch it all the time. So do I. Okay. And, um, but what is it like to be in cable news what, like, what kind of notes do you get from producers as a, <laughs> as a reporter? Um, okay, so the cra craziest notes I've gotten are, um, Jessica, it appears as though your hair is one-eighth of an inch longer on one side than on the other. Do we think we're tilting our head, or do we think our haircut's uneven? Uh, and then there was another... Well, which was it, Jessica? <laughs> I... Don't you, avoid wait, the question. If you look, my yes. hair does look uneven right now. It does, actually. One is behind my shoulders. So right, okay. <laughs> that was an actual note? Yes. That was an actual note you got? Your hair is one-eighth of an inch? Yes. Wow, okay. Uh, I was also told that I have a building problem. You have a building problem? Yes. What? What? Uh, that? that means you look um, not convincing in front of buildings. Basically... <laughs> Not convincing I what? I can't make you, that up. We mistake you for the building. <laughs> what, 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 what does that mean? Um, I, I worked that over so many times in my head. It, I think it's because I'm petite, which is a polite way of saying short, right? Yeah, for sure. And that in the mind's eye of the producers, they thought of me as little and so not full of gravitas. But that's not how anything looks on TV. But everyone no. is smaller than a building. <laughs> That should have been Everyone my comeback. Everyone is smaller than a building. Lower the camera. I will look like a giant. <laughs> I wish I could building. have called you for my response. You also, you, you also have this kind of a famous moment when Wolf Blitzer, yes. uh, during the 2008 campaign, I think uh -huh. was that what it was, he had a hologram. He had reporters appear via hologram yes. in the situation uh, nook. And <laughs> Room. I believe you were the first of these reporters to appear via hologram. Yes. <laughs> What, what was it like to report from the Phantom Zone? <laughs> so I was in Grant Park the night Barack Obama was elected president, okay. and they beamed me from Grant Park into the studio in New York. I asked them, I said I wanted to say, Wolf, you're our only hope, to, as a nod to Star Wars. Sure. <laughs> and they, they said... They wouldn't do it? They said, no, play it straight. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you play a hologram straight, but they wanted me to do that. Well, is this, uh, tell me, is this the first novel you've written? Yes. And probably the last. It's very hard to write a novel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Should I not say that? <laughs> no, don't say that. No, this will be the first of many. It's going to sell many. so many copies. It's, it was, um, I really wanted to give people a glimpse of what it's like on this side of the camera and of what goes on inside the news business. But I wrote a novel because I thought if I wanted to have fun and be larger than life, it should be fiction. Uh, that was because you're telling tales on real people in the news here, and you don't want to name any names. That is, I mean, I did, but I didn't. <laughs> so. You're busted. You're there's, busted. Like, there's a scene in the book where uh, the whole Washington, D.C. Bureau freaks out because the breaking news banner has crashed on television, and they can't be live on air without the words breaking news. So everyone rushes into the control room to see if they can summon the words. And um, <laughs> after that, they declare that henceforth, everything in Washington will always be breaking news. So the banner's always up. Now, but that's true. No, it's not true. No, ev there is nothing that's not breaking news now. It's not No, it always says breaking news. It does. I'm making a comment on that in a satirical way in a novel that's now come true. <laughs> you got, I know the problem. I know the problem. <laughs> Savage News is available now. Jessica Yellen, everybody.